Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Most importantly, please, please help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. I love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. After Seki, Gumi's mother, mother died, see what Peter Obi said that made people call him His Excellency. On Monday, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, received massive praises from his supporters who believe that he has what it takes to become Nigerian's next president. The praises on Mr. Obi followed his condolence message to Seki Gumi, a controversial Islamic cleric who lost his mother on Sunday, March 5th. According to some commenters, Mr. Obi's kind gesture towards Seki Gumi amid the allegations that linked the Islamic cleric to the bandits terrorizing Nigeria is worthy of emulation. While some, while some hailed Mr. Obi for his non-tribalistic approach to the country, a few others prayed for him to become the country's next president. Mr. Obi's condolence message to Sekigumi reads, and I quote, I send my sincere condolences to Seki Gumi, an Islamic scholar and cleric, over the death of his beloved mother. I cannot begin to imagine the pains the family are going through at the moment. I pray that God will strengthen you and comfort the entire Gumi family over our irreplaceable loss and grant her eternal rest. Reacting at Samuel, Adobe said, Sir, you are such a kind-hearted, inborn leader who is ready to serve. God's grace, God's grace is on you. Another person says, My president, Duny Christian, also says, My president, Chris says, His Excellency. These are reactions from people. At Samson says, Many people call you by the name that your parents, your parents name you, but me, I call you the Moses of our time, the Messiah to this generation. We are waiting for you to enter that Asurok and address Nigeria's challenges. Gumi, who announced the death of his mother on his Facebook handle, said a death occurred on Sunday evening at about 5.30 p.m. It was learned that his mother died around 5.30 p.m. and was buried at Uguwo Saki Muslim Cemetery, according to Islamic rites. Gumi said on his verified Facebook, Inna Lilahi wa Inna Ilahi Rajum. Apologies to Muslim folks out there. Today at 5.30 p.m. with a sad act, I announce the death of my dear mother. Please seek for our Allah's forgiveness and mercy. Our last words today to me two weeks ago, Inshallah, Allah will put her and her children and grandchildren together in Jannah. These words were very comforting to me few months ago before the presidential election, social media went currently abuzz with reactions following Peter Obi's decision to pay a courtesy visit to Seki Gumi in Kaduna State. Mr. Obi notified Nigerians of the visit via his official Twitter handle, noting that he and his running mate stopped for a courtesy call on Seki Gumi at his residence in Kaduna, also revealing that he had visited Kaduna to honor the invitation of the Arewa Joint Committee, Obi wrote. 
arrived in Kaduna with Dr. Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed to honor the invitation of the Arewa Joint Committee. Mr. Dati Baba Ahmed and I stopped by for courtesy call on Sekigumi as his official residence in Kaduna. Guys, what is your opinion on this? Kindly leave it down in the comment section. But I will say that, you know, I love the approach, you know, that uh, Peter will be is giving. Like, um, although I have some reservations, which I'm going to state. <laughs> the thing is, of course, you know, it's good to, you know, bring everybody together. You know, don't separate and, you know, don't discriminate. You know, bring people together, rub minds with them, hear from them, you know, let them share their own experiences and what's on their mind. You know, with that, you know, you'll be able to know how to govern and all that. But at the same time, when it comes to uh, this man, Sekigumi, hmm. I have some reservations, like I said, because this man is so controversial. The statements this man have has put out there in recent times is you know it's so alarming and you know it makes one think that this man is directly or indirectly involved with terrorists the terrorist Boko Haram you know one time this man said that don't vote for people that are going to stop Boko Haram don't vote for people that are going to kill you that is the terrorist and I'm like so in other words you're in support of them killing other people you don't want them killed. On several occasions, this paid courtesy visit to these terrorists. It treats these terrorists as if, you know, they are fighting for one cause, of which they are not. Nobody knows the cause they are fighting for. If it were to be the militants now, we'll say that, okay, the militants are fighting. They are fighting for, you know, their rights. You know, their lands have been, you know, used over time. Their lands have been destroyed, you know by people that have been you know exploiting their land for crude oil but these or like these uh, terrorists we don't know what they are fighting for they are just you know killing people kidnapping you know fighting here and there nobody, nobody knows what their cause is but this man is like treating them like heroes as if you know they are the ones fighting irrespective of the fact that this Boko Haram terrorists have displaced a lot of families a lot of homes People are displaced, people are, are in IDP camps who do not have family members, you know, children that their parents have been killed, you know, and all sorts. And this man will still come out here and give, you know, stupid comments, I would say. But let me know what you all think in the comment section. I love the approach uh, OB is giving, but at the same time, as a leader, we need to know when the time comes for you to take, you know, that stern decision, you can do that. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Do have a lovely day ahead. Bye for now.